Hey, what's going on, you guys? I like to wave you guys to the shot. It's your boy, Big Dog, back with another one take review. Today, we got one for Fire Force episode 19. Enter in, oh, into the Nether, which is the Nether is a place under Tokyo, which is like this is it's unholy, uh, unblessed, it's unsanctioned. It's just, it's, they just say it's bad. They just say it's bad. This is where the white clad been at. The the company A just found out this where they at. They know it's a bad place to go, but they head in there anyway. But before I get into like pretty much like the nitty gritty of this episode, probably one big thing that happened that I'm still not sure what it means, and that's actually the the I guess you could call it the dream that Shinra had, where like his whole body seemed like it was an adult length and like it was burning, and he saw Sister Iris. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. We gonna have to find out later because I actually have out currently right now today. I have no theories on it. Okay, I just don't. Uh, I, I don't know what it possibly could mean. Maybe I don't know enough. Who knows? Just right now, I don't have any theories on it. So I'm just gonna get. If you guys have any, I, I'm I'm glad to hear them from people who have not read the manga because I don't want somebody giving me a theory and this is actually just something they read in the manga. I, that would suck, okay? Now, if you give me a theory and it comes out to be true, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't know whether or not you read the manga or not, but still, like, come on, bro. Don't, don't, I mean, come on now. That would suck. But uh, nonetheless, the episode, they go into the nether and they quickly separate it uh, by the guy with the mirage and the guy who does, like, the, um, creates art, make people look like other people. And Iris has to be one of the slowest people I've ever seen. She pulled the Patrick from Spongebob this episode. Literally, there were two versions of Tomiki in one. Sounded like a man. Also, couldn't use uh, a pyrokinesis. And she's just like, oh my God, it's still such a hard decision. I'm like, what is wrong with you? And then... Tomiki does what Tomiki does. She tripped over a rail, a, a, a piece, a, a railroad, and the, the top jacket came off, her pants came off, and her bra, and her panties. How did all four of those things come off? I have no idea. Was it funny? Yes, very. But how did it happen? I don't think any of us know. I don't think we ever know. It just happens, okay? It just happens, okay. Nonetheless, you have um, <clears throat> you actually just focus on Tommy and Iris uh, and Mike in this episode because we saw the show sent it, sent the orders to hey send an assault, and I'm assuming assault was gonna be this guy who was able to like take out multiple people. Well, that actually wasn't the case. He actually used like third uh, third. I'm about to say third degree. A third <coughs> part <can> be <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick. Um, a third gener generation power uh, kinesis. So, with his, he uses his flame to create bullets. And he's fighting Tomiki as well as Iris. But Iris just in there kicking him because she, we now know she's not really a fighter. But it's a pretty, at first it seems like, eh, she doesn't really stand a chance. But, nonetheless... Yeah, and, and something happened back at uh, when they like was about to leave and head out. <clears throat> What's her name? Shinra told her like, "Hey, if you need some help, just call me. I'm a hero. I come save you." And so I, that was kind of like the extra motivation she needed. Like, no, I'm not gonna be that person. <clears throat> I I got this gear for a reason. I can defend myself, and that's what actually gave her the advantage to to beat assault. Granted. Iris also hit him with a like a, a pole, and then they pretty much stomped him out. Like they stomped him out so bad that some of it was actually blurred out. Now, now this is one thing I will ask in the, the manga readers, if if there are any, was that blurred out in the manga? Like, because I've heard like they censored some stuff that's not censored in the manga, which. If I'm just being honest, I'm probably going to end up going to read some of the manga because I don't understand why. You know, I mean, then, well, then again, I kind of do understand why. It's like, hey, it's kind of a kid's show, you know. But, uh, 
That's just weird because they show everything else. They show assault grabbing the boob, and I, I'm just kind of wondering, like, what damage was done so bad to his head that they couldn't show it. And I, I thought it, me personally, I just thought it was just like some bumps or something, like some cartoon bumps or whatever. With the, you saw the blood on the pipe, but I didn't really think too much of that. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know if that, well, how that goes down in the manga. As well as, uh, <clears throat> Another thing we had going on was Maki had about to have a fight, and she was she seemed scared at first, but then she's like, "Oh, you just actually she she was like, oh my god, what is going on?" And she saw him, she's like, "Oh, you're real people. Oh, well, everything's cool now." She fought Flail and his henchmen, and she mopped the flow with them. I mean. That was a very well animated fight. It, I actually went back and watched like that fight over again because I think Fire Force does a great job with the animation in his fights and uh, the way uh, the 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 how fluid the, uh, the action scenes are. So, just one of the things I really appreciate about the episode, uh, about the show just in general. So I'm looking forward to uh, what happens next because I don't even technically I don't even remember exactly where we left off. I just know. We have to go see what Arthur's doing. We have to see what Shimmer's at. We have to see what Lieutenant's at. We have to see what Captain o Obin's doing. And also, what well, Captain Obin and Vulcan are together, <clears throat> which I'm assuming the Lieutenant and Lick is together. So, that might mean Shimmer is with uh, Arthur or those two are just both separated and they're by themselves. Those are the groups I'm expecting to be with somebody or by themselves. So, we'll see next episode. Another good episode. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a show versus she showdown by the end of this this whole thing because like this is where their headquarters are. We're probably going to get some pretty damn good fights these next few episodes. So that's one thing that really got me excited. But uh, you guys let me know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell when you subscribe. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.